Hi, salam sejahtera. This is Kids Breaks, Mind Over Breaks, and Driving the Breaks. Hey guys, I'm John, back again with another LEGO review. We'll be looking at LEGO Superhero Series Set 76028, Dark Side Invasion. This set is priced at 350 ringgit, comes with 4 minifigures, 1 big figure, and 545 pieces. The builds are divided into two sections, first of which you'll be building Dark Side's Hover Destroyer, and then you'll be building Green Arrow's Javelin. The features are very heavy on the good guy side. In terms of firepower, I would say Dark Side wins by miles. It took me more than an hour to complete this set, but to be honest, I really love this build. LEGO came up with really simple solutions, but the play value is limitless. So this is the view of the entire set. The scale of the Javelin is ginormous compared to Darkseid's Hoover Destroyer, but Darkseid is gigantic in scale compared to the other minifigures. Before we go in depth, let's have a look at some action shots. From the left, Cyborg, Hawkman, Superman, Green Arrow, and in the back there is Darkseid. This is Darkseid. His arms and hands are connected to the body via Technic pins, but apart from that, there's pretty much no articulation. The painting resolution on the face and chest is really good, but I hate the fact that the hands are hollow and the painting there is not as detailed as the ones on the face or on the chest. Hmm. It would be better if the detail was outlined by a black line or something. I wish the back had some kind of dribbling but I'm no comic expert, so yeah. Next up, we have Cyborg. I think this is the most detailed minifigure in this set. I mean, look at him. The headpiece is the first time that LEGO have done anything like that. I only wish that LEGO could have provided a separate headpiece. The printing is... As usual, LEGO standard, really accurate printing. He's even got a second face to show a different expression. And this is how it looks like with the headpiece on. The printing is silvery metallic, but I'm not really sure what's going on with the legs. It's not cracked, but I'm worried. Number three on the list is Superman. What stands out most is his headpiece and his cape. His torso is okay, but there's not much to it really. Superman's face has also a second expression, but I think he could do without the cheekbones. His backside detail is also okay. Please note that the cape is really soft and really easy to pull up. Superman's killer feature is his super jumper piece. Have a look. LEGO introduced a new system for Hawkman, but I believe it has been used by Batman in a different set. Hawkman's chest armor is finely detailed, but his legs could have done with a little bit more. His headpiece is also similar to that of Batman. The part where the bat's ear sticks out is replaced by a wing. This is the back of the headpiece with the second expression. If you haven't realized, the wings look a little bit flat, but this is the new system introduced by LEGO. The wings are transparent laminated plastics held down onto a special piece with two 1x1 one one round tiles. The last of the minifigures, we have Green Arrow. Pretty much the same with the other minifigures. Green Arrow comes with a bow and arrow, a hood piece and a blonde hair piece. Currently you're looking at the second expression available on the head. It'd be really cool if he had the hood up on his head. The best solution I've heard is to get the hood from the Hobbit series and put it on him. Now we see the details without the hood piece. There are quite a few stickers on this vehicle, but I don't mind that because it brings all the features into detail in this vehicle. This is what I meant with the firepower. 
the turret at the front can be aligned upwards or downwards. When you're satisfied, just squeeze the trigger and the ball will fly away. There's a spare ammo at the back, but be careful. Projectiles hurt, so don't aim at people. The plank is a bit flimsy, so make sure that dark side holds on to its control. This is what happens when dark side gets hit with Superman with a super jumper piece. A close up of the plank. This is the main reason I bought this set for review. I'm not sure how this javelin should look like but I guess from my research it's pretty much accurate. So thumbs up. The wings can be flipped forward for flight mode. In terms of firepower, you're given a pair of flip fire missiles to fight against dark side. This is one of the features associated with the super jumper piece. Have a look. The interior details are okay, but the use of blue bricks makes it more interesting. This is the hidden weapon to ward off evil. A pair of mines. The javelin could probably fit all four minifigures. Unfortunately, Superman wouldn't be in a sitting position. He has to bend over at the back, which actually intervenes with the sitting position at the front. On the other hand, Hawkman would probably have to take off his wings just to fit inside the javelin. The middle seat is also without flaw. The brick at the head impedes the sitting position. It's still possible to fit in a minifigure, but the real estate isn't that good either. Another flaw I'd like to address is a place to put all your weapons. It's always lacking. In conclusion, there are many highs and there are also many lows. At 65 cents per piece, it's way too high for this kind of set. I reckon that this set could make do without Hawkman. I'm not sure whether I want Superman too because he's already available in another set. It's a good set but it's also an expensive set. Lego could have omitted those two minifigures or Darkseid altogether but they didn't. We really hope you guys enjoy watching this video review. Leave us some comments below so that we can improve. Please mind your language and be respectful to others. Trolling is not allowed. For more information on this set and other toy reviews, hit us up on kissbricks at gmail.com. Thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe if you want to see more. For now, I'll see you around.